very good evening to you stretch and tone class let's start by rotating your shoulders forwards and back and really squeezing your shoulder blades back and rounding your shoulders forwards squeeze your shoulder blades back round your shoulders forwards wonderful from here let's take the hands up above you stretch before you take the arms down a little bend in the knees as we take the hands up round and back include the breath breathing in and out last one breathe in and release the day so far let's go into a gentle spinal twist looking round behind you great work from here place your hands on your hips hip circles rotate one way and rotate the other great work balance now just on one leg and loosen that knee standing nice and tall hold on to something if you need for balance otherwise swing that leg really open up the hips like this great work and then from here let's take the leg across and out to the side and out to the side let's slow it down and keep that leg up for a moment before we take it down two more last one and relax let's go into hip flexors wonderful and then from here rotate your ankle and your wrist and then let's go to the other side standing nice and tall loosen the knee and then swing the leg forwards and back great work from here take your foot across and raise lovely and for the last three we're just going to slow them down so pause before you come down and relax wonderful hip flexors great work and then from here rotate your ankle and your wrist great work now let's take the legs nice and wide take the hips back and you're going to take the hand from one side to the other go as low as you can take the legs nice and wide from one side to the other spread the legs even wider as wide as you can from one side to the other and then gently pause in one direction come up on your toes on one side of the foot and really stretch that inside leg and feel that stretch then walk your hands across to the other side and stretch that inside leg well done gently come on up and relax rotate your shoulders forwards and back place your fingertips on your shoulders keeping your fingertips on your shoulders let's go into a spinal twist keeping your hands on your shoulders wonderful a few more and then we'll go into pause extend our hands out and do the same you can bend the elbow when you're pointing towards the TV or camera. Wonderful. And slow it down. Pausing, arms out to the side. You're going to take your hands in and push out. Take the hand in towards your chest and out. We're working your arms here. One more. And relax. Taking the hands down, up in front of you. Stretch. 
before you take the arms round and back. And again, breathing in and exhale out. One more breathing in. Stretch and exhale down. Beautiful. Final spinal twist before we go into the sun salutation. Wonderful. Great work. Let's go and start the sun salutation. So face the short end of your mat. And then let's begin by taking a nice deep breath in as your hands go out to the side. Breathe in and then dive forward and look at your legs. Feel that stretch at the back of the legs. See if you can rest your fingers underneath your toes and encourage your head to come closer closer to your legs. If your hamstrings are really tight, don't forget you can bend your knees. Wonderful. From here, let's come up into a half fold with aeroplane arms out to the side. Body weight is forward, but don't raise your heel. Draw your navel in tight, then come on down into plank, step or jump your feet. Plank position, let's stay in plank, a good plank position, tailbone under, abs activated, feel that, and then gently place your knees down on the mat, three quarter plank, just stay in a three quarter plank, you can have your hands more underneath your chest and shoulders if that's better, but tilt your pelvis so your tailbone is tucked under. Feel your abs toning here. Then slowly take those hips back. Big toes are touching. Let's go into child's pose and really stretch. Allow the hands to go as far forward as you can and your hips as far back as they can and really feel that nice stretch in your back muscles. And really try and visualize as though you're being pulled, your hands forward, your hips back. Enjoy that nice stretch in your back muscles and stretch. And feel that stretch. Remain here for a few more seconds, stretch your back muscles. Remember you can rest your head on the mat. The knees can be out of your way or you can rest your body on top of your thighs and really stretch. Letting go of the day so far. You're slowly going to make your way forward into Cobra and lifting yourself up, making sure your feet remain down on the mat and then look behind you from one side to the other and really try and feel that stretch and stretch. And again, stay here and try to maybe look up to the left and to the right and really notice your abdominal muscles toning and becoming nice and firm. Encourage your hip to relax down on the floor and then take your own time as you're going to go back and forth between Cobra and Child's Pose. So sit back when you're ready, stay in Cobra for as long as you want to and then move forward into child, into, so going back into Cobra or forward into, I'm getting all confused, child's pose and Cobra. Connecting that mind, body, breath, breathing out as you come in, breathing in, as you're moving forward, feel that stretch, feel the muscles toning, 
letting go of the day so far. Moving nice and swiftly between one and the other. Beautiful. We're going to get ready to raise the hips. So make your way back. Curl your toes under. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Raise the hips up and back. Then walk a little closer towards your hands. Move the hips to the left, to the right. And try your best to get your chest and upper body to go up and back so your chest is almost touching your uh, your thighs your tummy is touching your thighs feel that stretch you can remain static or you can move your hips from left to right bending one knee and then the other and really stretch out Beautiful. Now let's get ready to move the feet forward. Bend your knees. Walk, step or jump to the front. From here we're going to take a moment before coming up to half fold with aeroplane arms. Full fold as you look at your legs and just relax by holding your calf muscles, encourage your head to come closer to your calf muscles and really stretch, feel that stretch. Beautiful, bend the knees and come all the way up to rising. Take a deep breath in and then exhale out. Beautiful. And again, beautiful in-breath, beautiful out-breath as you dive forward. In-breath as you come on up into aeroplane. The aeroplane becomes wings and your hands are going to come down and out to the sides and squeeze your shoulder blades as you are taking your arms out to the side. Keep a slight bend in your elbow. Wonderful. Aeroplane arms stay static out, body weight forward. Then gently plank position, step or jump your feet back. Wonderful. Plank position, tailbone tucked under. We're going to go around the clock by raising every limb. So starting with the foot, foot, hand, hand. Two more. Round the clock. Nice and controlled. Don't rush. Once you've done that, stay in plank position. Tailbone tucked under. Heel pointing back. Straight legs. Stay here. Keep breathing, then rest your knees to the mat, but keep it into a three-quarter plank, so don't go anywhere. Tailbone tucked under, continue activating and toning your abdominal muscles. Tailbone tucked under, stomach muscles engaged. Hang in there a few more seconds. And then take the hips back and go back into child's pose. Sitting right back, extending the hands out in front of you. And really reach out. Your hands can be hip width apart or they can come closer together in the centre. And remember you can rest your forehead on the mat or keep it up. 
You can even stack your hands underneath each other, all these variations. Whilst you're in child's pose, you can remain static or gently move the body side to side. Again, just to help feel that stretch. Wonderful. Let's get ready to raise the hips. Curl your toes under. And then raise the hips and push back. This time you have your feet hip width apart. You're going to bend both knees and push your body towards your thighs. So it's your tummy touching your thighs. Take a beautiful in-breath, keep that body pushing towards your thighs and as you breathe out, straighten the legs. Two more, bend the knees, push that body towards your thighs, breathe in and then breathe out. And again, bend both knees, push back and then out. Wonderful. Stay here for a few more seconds, taking those hips up and back and really feel that stretch. Great. Then from here, bend the knees, look forward, walk step or jump to the front. And then gently come on up into half fold, aeroplane arms out to the side. They become wings, so take your hands down and up. Down and wings. Wonderful. One more. Excellent. And leave them out to the side. Remember to keep your shoulders down and back. Draw that navel in. And then gently place hands behind your legs as you fold in half and look at your legs and feel that head coming closer. Feel free, remember, to bend the knees if you want to. Feel that stretch. Then bend the knees, lower the hips, come all the way up to standing, deep breath in and then breathe out. Wonderful. We're going to pick up momentum. Breathe in. Breathe out and dive forward. Place your hands behind your calf muscles. Raise your head as though you're going to go into half fold. And then as you breathe out, encourage your head to come closer to your legs. Two more. Breathe in. Raise your head away from your legs. And then as you breathe out, encourage that head to come closer. One more, breathe in and out. Wonderful, bend the knees, come up into half fold and aeroplane arms. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together, tilt your back so it's a straight back. Beautiful. And then let's go into our um, wings. Hands down and up. So what you really want to try and do is not round your back, but really try and keep your back as straight as you can. Wonderful. Hands out to the side. Beautiful, then come on down, step or jump your feet back. From plank here, we're going to go into side plank. So nice and controlled. Remember, you can rest your knee on the mat as you take the hand from one, to the, from one side to the other. Nice and controlled. Nice and steady, nice and slowly and elegantly and beautifully going from one movement to the other. Feel it around your waist, around your stomach as you are working that area. Wonderful. 
Don't hold your breath. Beautiful. One more. Then hold plank. Stay in plank. Then three quarter plank. Moving your hands underneath you. Tilt your tailbone under. Feel it in your abdominal muscles. And feel that stretch. Stretch and toning. Well done, everyone. Stay here a few more seconds. We're going to go back into plank position. So raise the hips into plank, raise the knees even. This time we're going to do a walking plank in terms of mountain climber, walking mountain climber. So you're going to walk your feet in towards your hands and then you're going to walk your feet away from you into plank. Walk your feet in, let's begin, and then walk your feet out. Walk your feet in and walk your feet out. Just one more. And then rest your knees to the mat and sit back and relax. Have a sip of water if you need it throughout the lesson. Okay, we're going to continue challenging your core. You're going to go on your hands and knees and we're going to do a walking um, robo core. So nothing moves, you're going to raise your knees off the floor opposite hand and foot moves forward to the top of the mat and then once you reach the top of the mat nice and slowly it's just the opposite knee and foot moving it's just a little step don't have your feet too far away from you and don't take them too far back Keep moving slowly. This is your core exercise. Slowly forward, slowly back. Draw your navel in. Hold it here. Don't round your back. When you come to the center of your mat, stay in the center. Rest your knees and sit back. Well done. Have a sip of water if you need to have a sip of water. Well done, everyone. Okay, so your heart, I'm sure, is racing a little bit. Okay. Well, we're just going to do another one with the plank position before I get you just to rest on your hands and knees, okay? So back into plank. Again, to work your waist. If you're getting tired, go into a three-quarter plank and take that knee to the outside of your arm, okay? If you're not tired and you're quite strong still and full of energy, then come into plank, take that left leg, touch the outside of your left arm, plank, right leg touches the right outside and you're not allowed to rest your foot even if you're in plank three quarter that foot is not allowed to touch the floor keep going plank position and make sure your body weight is forward so your hands are underneath your shoulders or chest area so do move forward a bit Initially, the arms may be complaining, but over time, they're going to get stronger because strong is the new beautiful. Keep going. One more. And relax. Rest your knees down to the mat. Take that body weight off your hands. And let's just give our hands a bit of a TLC little stroke. Well done. And breathe. Well done. Okay. So, whilst we're seated, we're just going to 
continue giving our wrists a bit of a TLC by just rotating your wrist, circling the wrist forwards and back. And then pretend you're playing the piano. Not that you play the piano like that, but wonderful. Now let's go into um, tabletop position and we'll continue working on the core. So if your wrists are complaining, create a fist and have the fist down here on your hand. And then allow, let's go into a cat and cow. So you're lowering your hip down your tummy and then you're going to round your back into cat. So the cat empties her lungs and then the cow breathes in. Now make sure you do your best to hold your tummy muscles in nice and tight and allow your head just to relax. Wonderful. And now what we'll do is we'll really take our attention to our pelvic floor muscles, okay? Draw them in, hold them in, and we're going to take the knees off the mat, okay? So if you can, lift your knees off the mat. If you're tired, then stay, but you have to really clench your pelvic floor muscles. So that means no toilet break, neither, one or two. Okay, curl your toes under, pelvic floor muscles are tight, and then raise the knees off the mat, just literally off the mat. You don't take them too high, and if it's more comfortable for you, walk your feet a little closer underneath your body so that you have more of a support, and hold that position nice and strong, Hold it, try not to round your back. Stomach muscles tight. Hold it, but don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. That's it. And then gently rest your knees and sit back and breathe. Well done. Excellent. We're going to go back on our hands and knees, but this time we're going to take the leg out to the side and up towards the ceiling. So you're working your glutes muscle a bit more. So from here, pelvic floor muscles clenched, leg goes out to the side and up towards the ceiling. So it's a thigh hydrant and one donkey kick. Let's begin. But nice and slowly, don't rush it, nice and slow so slow that a snail is overtaking you. Nice and slowly, really feel it and take it as far as you can out to the side and raise the heel as high as you can. We'll be pausing and holding in a second the leg out to the side and holding the leg up towards the ceiling, but I'll let you know when. In the meantime, keep going out to the side and up. So it's slowly, wonderful. You're gonna take the leg out to the side in three, two, one. Take it out to the side and leave it out to the side. Hold it, but don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Slowly take that knee down. Go into donkey kick and thigh hydrant. Move out to the side and center. You should start feeling your glutes starting to burn a little. Burning is fine. Just means the muscles are working. Keep going. And now we're going to hold that foot in three, two, one. Donkey kick, heel up towards the ceiling. No need to pulse, 
just hold it high. Of course, still clenching your tummy muscles. Three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful. Freestyle the body and move the body how you like. Take your hands off the mat just to give them a bit of a break and then we're going to do the same again on the other side. Are you ready? Okay. Fire hydrant and donkey kick. Slowly take that leg out to the side. Slowly take that leg up. Slowly. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing so you don't get any cramps. And move how your body likes. Excellent. Keep going. Nice and controlled. Nice and slowly. Keep going. Keep that foot flexed. Slowly out to the side and up, out to the side and up. Wonderful, we're going to get ready to take it out to the side and up. Keep going, I'll count you in. Three, two, one. Take that leg, fire hydrant, out to the side and hold it. Hold that leg out. Don't hold your breath. Keep breathing. A few more seconds. And then we're going to continue in three, two, one. Allow that knee to come down. Back to donkey kick and fire hydrant. Keep going. Take your attention to your glute muscles. Those are the ones that we're working at the moment. Nice and slowly keep going. We've got the donkey kick hold coming up. Keep going, I'll count you in. Nice and slowly out to the side and up. Keep going. You're going to keep that foot up towards the ceiling in three, two, one. Hold that leg up. Tummy muscles tight. Your attention is on your abs as well as your glutes. Hold that foot up. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Keep going. Leg up, up, up. Three, two, one, lower the leg, sit back and stretch. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to be lying on our back now and we'll be working a bit more on our glutes, thighs and stomach. So when you're ready, just nice and controlled, take your body weight down to the mat, making sure you come down on the mat nice and steady and allow the knees to be bent. Wonderful. Tilt your pelvis so that your tailbone is up and your lower back is flat against the floor. We're going to continue with some pelvic tilts. So tilt your pelvis and then relax. Tilt your pelvis and then relax. You're going to tilt your pelvis so your lower back is flush against the floor. Squeezing your glutes, you're going to start raising them. Make sure your feet are not too far away from your glutes as you then raise the hips up towards the ceiling. Keep your knees in line with your hip as you raise the glutes up. Stomach muscles tight, raise the glutes up. Feel it in your quads, in your glutes, in your stomach. Let's go up, up, up. And then slowly, focusing on your spine, come on down 
onto the floor, onto the mat. Once you're on the mat, window wipe, both legs to the left, both legs to the right, keeping the knees bent. This time, if you want extra height, you can come up onto your toes. But first, keeping your knees bent, walk your heels closer to your glutes. Tilt your pelvis so your back is flat against the floor. Then make sure your neck is nice and straight on the mat by taking your chin down towards your chest. So then when you are raising the hips up, your chin is almost touching your chest. Then you can come up onto your toes, have your feet closer towards you, that gives you that extra height. Make sure your knees remain in line with your hip, squeeze your glutes, raise, the neck is lengthened so that your chin is almost touching your chest. Squeeze and raise and raise a little more. See if you can press down onto the mat with your hand and push up. Keep going, a few more seconds. Beautiful, and then focus on your spine as you are slowly under control, coming back down onto the mat. Once you're down on the mat, your knees are window wiping, both to the left, both to the right. This next one, we're going to do the same again. The only difference is that you can add a, pull, a little pull, so you're lowering your hips a little and then pushing your hips higher, lower and higher if you want to, otherwise you can stay static. So let's start by tilting our pelvis so our lower back is flat against the floor. Walk your feet closer to your glutes. Initially have them flat, straight neck. So when you start to raise the hips, your chin is almost touching your mat. And then come on up, raise yourself up. Come on up and up and up as much as you can. That's it, keep going. Then you can lower your hips and push up. Lower your hips and push up. Lower the hips and push up. Lower the hips and push up. Lower and raise. Lower and raise. Lower and raise. Last few moments, keep going. Down and push up, down and push up, or remain static. Keep going a few more seconds, and lift, two more, one more, we're almost finished ladies and gentlemen. Lower your body down, window wipe the knees both to the left, both to the right, and as you're doing this, walk your feet away so that you can feel your whole body lengthening and stretching out. Beautiful. Lengthen the body and stretch. And then from here, you're going to come to the end as we're going to stretch. We're going to tense and relax the body. We're going to tense the whole body from head to toe tense everything from head to toe, from your eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, tense everything all the way down towards your feet, tense and then relax and let go. Two more, almost finished, tense the whole body nice and strong, tense, tense, tense and then sigh and let go and relax. One more, tense the whole body, nice and strong, tense, tense, tense. And then sigh as you let go and relax. 
gently stay here or bend your knees for more lower back support and just take three deep breaths in breathing in and breathing out deep breath in and a deep breath out allow all the stress to melt away breathing in breathing out and relaxing Letting go of the day so far. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Move your body to the side. And gently we're going to come and sit up. And let's say goodbye.